Well, first YouTube video, just gonna give you a few tips, pointers on general finishes, wood bowl finish, and a pretty cool idea that I came up with on how to keep it from going bad or curing the can. But the finish is this stuff, and it's great. It's a high gloss finish if you build it up. Um, what I'll do is I'll keep adding layer and layer and once I get it to where there's a good thick layer of clear on the top, I'll sand it down with 400 grit, take all the little nibs and rough spots off, get it down nice and flush, and start reapplying applying it. Get a nice food safe gloss finish on there. Um, they can go over epoxy, it can go over anything that's oil, you can put it over the top of. Um, like this one, this is just a piece of black walnut that I got with Mahoney's. Walnut oil. Um, it's a little darker with just the walnut oil compared to the finish with the wood bowl finish. I don't know what, how well you can see that in there, but um, the walnut oil is just a little bit darker. But I like using this stuff because whoever you're selling it to, then you gotta look for the oil to reapply it with and then you gotta mess with it ever again. Another thing is these little things work. Um, I've got a brand new can the other day and a quart will fit in roughly two and a half of these little IV bags. You can get them off Amazon. They work great. You ain't got to worry about blocks oxygen. Um, just pop the little tab open. And what I'll do is when I get to the final stages of doing, applying a light coat for the final finish is I'll just take a little, little plastic cup. I'll cut the bottom out of it. it you don't even need half an ounce to uh, apply it with. And they also had a nice little tip on one of their videos, which is taking these little these little women's nylon socks, you can use pantyhose, whatever. Um, what I do is I put my paper towel, I'll take one and fold it up in a small piece, and I'll stuff it in, twist it, put some hot glue on there, cut it in half, another piece of paper towel, hot glue, twist it, cut it in half, and I'll get you know, about three or four of these little things out of just one stocking and they work great. They take away the bubbles, the streaks. Um, the only way to get a better finish out of this is to uh, sand it down and buff it. That's the only way to get anything better. But I mean, this stuff is, I mean, I know that bottom ain't perfectly round, but you don't see any streaks in that. I'll bring it even closer. Yeah. No streaks. It's it's great. I love using it. So and I'll just show you how to apply it with those little applicators. That's really not hard. It takes several coats, but they claim it's food safe, so I'll stand on that versus lacquer in a bowl that's not labeled food safe. No, that's probably one of probably the disturbance, but, but yeah, they don't take much. See? Just like that. No bubbles. 
No need for bloxygen. Doesn't seep out of the bag, doesn't make the bag. I mean, it's, it's some type of a food safe PVC that actually make these things for little party gags that you can get and put your liquor or whatever you want to drink out of for Halloween parties. Um, and another thing I do is take a little two by four and put some nails in there and sand the tops down. That way I can flip it over, or flip the bowl over. So once I get to the final finishing stage, I'll only do one side at a time. That way I'm not leaving fingerprints of the finish where I just layer that it's undisturbed, laid flat, no problems. And then what I'll do is I'll just take it, when I'm ready to do the bottom side like I'm about to do, is I'll just take it and lay it on one of those and no problem. As a matter of fact, that's kind of shallow, so. I'll take two and stack them up. But it doesn't take much. I done yet it's actually ran out so I've got a few more bowls to do something. That'll make a mess. Just dip the tip in there lightly, that way you don't have too much on there and go around. And I know I'm on totally Michael Jackson in it right now with only one glove on, but I shouldn't need another glove since I don't plan on sticking that hand in, in the finish. I don't plan on it. But this is a piece of spalted willow, by the way. It was. Severely punky on that end. That's why I had to take the Dremel and carve it out. There was just no way that stuff was going on and going to provide a good finish for it. I mean, it was every time I had them lay, that would just rip wood out left and right. It wasn't playing along nicely at all, to say the least. So, had to fill it with epoxy and I figured I'd throw a little bit in the bottom of it, just to give it a little extra detail. So, yeah, I mean, if you like a, if you've got an oil finish that you like, go figure it out and do that. Luckily, it hasn't, it hasn't started curing yet.
So, but a little green and orange epoxy mixed in together. Turned out better than I thought it would. But if you've got a fish or an oil that you like that's darker than this stuff, once you get to using it, you can use it like I've used bold linseed oil on a piece to give that darker orange color. I actually did like two colors or two coats of that bold linseed oil on top and applied this stuff. Once the bold linseed oil sets, it's set, and then this just goes over the top. And with all the layers that you develop on it, it makes it food safe and the bold linseed oil doesn't come out and doesn't affect this. But just a few little points, little tips. Like I said, these little things, I mean, they're, they're awesome. Um, I got one more I can do. Yeah. This is a piece of peach for comparison. That's with the wood bowl finish on it. And that's just with Mahoney's oil. It's ornamental peach, not fruiting peach. Looked up and came across one that had three trunks on it that was roughly the size of... Each one of them was about the size of a basketball. Real nice stuff. But... Just goes on nice and smooth. I figured I'd leave a little bit of the. This one had a few wormholes in it, so I figured I'd leave some of that on there, give some character. Once I put this finish on there, it'll harden up. And the other thing about this stuff too is, if your wood's real punky, saturate with this stuff. I mean it's. It hardens. Plus, it'll build you a nice little base coat saturating the punky wood with it. Just pour it to it, let it drink all it wants to drink, let it sit for a few days and return it. Won't have any tear out, no chunks missing. But now, I gotta get this room ready to repaint. I can't stand this blue in here. It's time to go.